Greetings, spacefaring comrades. Today we're diving into the sleek world of Starship customization, specifically crafting the baddest, nimblest Class B fighter design in the galaxy, the Razor Leaf Mark II. This Class B beauty is all about speed, agility, and striking fear into the hearts of pirates. And that's exactly how it looks. With this aggressive split nose design and sharp angles that scream danger, it's a terrifying yet beautiful piece of kit. Did I mention the Razor Leaf's ability to scare off pirates mid-battle? Oh yes, it's like having your own cosmic boogeyman on board. Pirates can't flee fast enough. This ship isn't just about looking good, it's a working class hero. With a small cargo capacity designed exclusively for contraband smuggling, you'll be rolling in space credits. And don't worry about those pesky factions scanning your ship. Your cargo's locked up tighter than your crypto wallet. Now if you're eager to embark on your Razor Leaf journey, stay tuned as we dive deep into the construction guide. We'll get hands on, turning that small and adequate ship into the cosmic hot rod you've always dreamed of. But before we do, smash that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, drop your thoughts down below. Now let's get into it. Now before you can ride the cosmic lightning on your very own Razor Leaf, you'll need to embark on a secret outpost mission. It's like a scavenger hunt, but with a dash of good old fashioned murder. Just kill everyone in sight and your ship will be waiting there at the end. Once you snag the Razor Leaf, you're ready to roll. Next stop, Planet Paradise. Find a cozy spot, drop an outpost, and construct a landing bay large enough for your Razor Leaf to strut its cosmic stuff. There you can access the build menu and have a large amount of parts available. Once you've built everything you can here, you can head over to the Red Mile and grab the engines and the shielded cargo. Now let's dive into the actual build. Okay guys, we're going to be starting with a 120LD landing bay, facing forwards. A demo spelly on the back. And I've gone for an armory, but it's up to you. You can use whatever you like. Just there. A companion way just in front. And I'll actually take one of these portholes and put that on the front now. Now we can actually add some shielded cargo. So we've got this 100 cm ballistic shielded cargo hold here on the back. And these 200 cm ballistic ones on the side. Okay, now we're just going to put a porthole here. It just stops the ladder. Now this section, as you can see, won't go there. So we're going to take this Nova Bracer, dupe it. And this will attach to this section. And once we delete this brace, so it will drop down. This brace is actually going to stay here. And then we just want these hope tech pipes on the end. And now we can take this Nova weapon out. Just pop it on the end. Okay, now we're going to add two Nova braces to either side. To this side. And then we're going to put a Stroud Cap A on the front. Same here. Okay, now we're going to take two more braces and pop them under here. So one's just under the back of the Stroud Cap. Same here. Then we're going to take these Teo Spinees and put them on the front. Now we can take these Nova Cowlings and pop both of those on. Okay, then what we're actually going to do is take a Bracer pop it here. And another one here. And dupe it again, like this. Then we're going to take these Damos Wings And just attach them like this. And we're going to delete this bracer and highlight these Thamos wings again. And then we can delete these. Then to keep them in place, we just use these uh, portholes. Now the game will recognize it as being attached. I actually forgot to add one of the uh, shielded cargoes this side too. Then you grab drive, wherever one you've got. I've got the RD3000. Just use whatever one you have. That just goes there. And the same again for the reactor, the 104DS. So I've got, it gives you 39 powers, power, gives you 39 power pips, which is mad. Just gonna stick that behind there. Okay, so now we can make our little landing gear sections. You wanna take a Stroud Cap A, just flip it. Like this. 
Then we can take the Aculander 11 and make the side piece. So if I switch the part, you can see there's a middle part and end parts. We want the left side. One, two, three of those. And in this Stroud cap, if we jeep it, just press the left button or the D-pad on the Xbox. You can flip it there. Now we're going to take this whole section and just pop it underneath. And the Stroud caps are going to line up together. Again, it's the exact same for this side. Then we're going to add on these SA430 engines. As you can see, they only use two power each. And we get quite a lot of thrust. So one of these is going to go here. And the other one's on top. And these need to be the right side, by the way. So it's like this. And it's the same for this side, you're just swapping the engines around. I'm going to take this bracer and pop it here on the end of the bottom one. Then make another one, dupe it, put it on top. Radiator in the cap. And take this bracer, pop it up here. Stick the other one in front of it. Delete this back one. And drop it down into the section there. I'll just show you again really quickly on this side. We'll take this part down there. Dupe. Radiator in there. Okay, so next we're going to take a Nova cowling, just stick it on the side of the ship in the middle, on the side of the two braces. Then we want three braces together behind that, and then we can finish it off with an end cap, end pipe, and then the exact same for this side. Okay, then I've gone for these 500 ton helium free tanks. We're just going next to the engines. Same again here. And in front of that, we got these Hope Tech radiators. Both sides. Okay, then we're going to take these Damos wings, pop them on the side of these braces. Same again here. And we have another drop down glitch, so we'll just dupe this brace and pop it up. Up. Same again here. Then we're going to attach these cowlings. And again, delete the braces on that parts. Okay, so now we're going to tube one of these engines and pop that one to the side of the bracer in line with the other ones. And we can tube this cowling and just stick that in front. Exact same on this side. Okay, so we're going to take these Stroud caps again and just turn them upside down. Create a part like this. Then we're going to move it to here. Then we're going to create the exact same thing for the top. And then again, it's the same this side. I like to take these radiators, just pop them in here. Same again here. Okay, now I've gone for a control station. Just going to pop that on top of here, so it's on top of the bracer and the living quarters. Then we can take this Teo cowling and just stick that on the back. Then we're going to have another drop down, so we want to dupe this control station. Then we can take this Viking CP220 cockpit, pop that on the top. Delete the control station and highlight the cockpit. And it will drop down just like that. Then I've gone for this 100 dp slim docker. and the Vanguard Bulwark Shield. Okay, now we're going to dupe this back cap and pop that there. Same again on this side. Then we're going to take the wing, Damos wing, and pop that there. Same again on the other side, just dupe it from here. Then we actually just need to move this locker for a moment. Grab a bracer. 
and stick that here. And we're going to take these cowlings, just like this. And this one over this side. Delete the bracer, drop the cowling, drop the cowling. Okay, now one more time we're going to get a bracer. Then we're going to jeep this front cap, eh? Same again here. And when we delete the bracer, it'll just drop straight down into place. And then we can put our docker back on top. Now I'd like to take another two 200 cm ballistic shielded cargoes. I'll stick one this side, inside this mouth. One on this side. Then we have four of these PP-175 helium beams. I'll just put them on either side of this weapon mount. Just like that. And I actually use this Firebolt 4000 suppressor. And this is just for your boarding. So if you want to board some ships, loot their contraband. And to aid with that contraband, we've got this scan jar here. I'll just put it on the other side here. Now if you got this far, once again, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see on the next build. And I'll see you in the next one.